it's such a weird thing. Um, thinking back to like when I was a kid and I, you know, like had the world and Disney fuck me up on like what my perceptions of like the world really was. I like, I know, I know a lot of you can relate to this, but it's like a disease and I've, I've beaten it and a lot of you can beat it too. It's not, you know, like I didn't, I'm not like one of the lucky ones that got over it. Y'all can get over it. But like when I was younger, I felt like I needed validation. Uh, well, it's weird because when I was younger, I didn't look at it like that. So if you would have said that to me, I'd be like, no, that's not what it is. But now that I'm older and I look back, I'm like, that's what it was. I felt like I needed validation. I needed to have a girlfriend because I didn't love myself, but I felt like if I couldn't get a girlfriend to love me, then, you know, like, I just wasn't ever going to be loved. And I know a lot of you relate to that. I have been help. I have been chatting. I have chatted with so many people my whole fucking life. That is such a goddamn common thing. And I kind of blame Disney for it. And other medias that are like family friendly. But like the, the, the biggest issue with that is that if you don't learn to love yourself, why the fuck should anybody else love you? And then the best thing that, uh, that, that I could say about it is like, you want to love yourself for multiple reasons. One, because you don't want to need anybody. It feels, life really does feel so much better when you pull that off and you, and you kind of can do it. Like I've been single on purpose for the last seven years and it's been fucking great. Like, do I get lonely every once in a while? Like kind of fucking barely, actually. And I'm actually starting to worry, like, I may never have a family because I'm like selfishly enjoying being single just way too much. But like most of the challenges I've ever had in relationships or problems I've ever had in relationships all literally stems from the not knowing how to love myself. And then the moment that I figured it out and I started dating, it was like a weird reverse in the relationships. It was like, I had women always calling me. I had them always wanting to hang out, had them always wanting to fuck. Like all the all the typical things that you go through when like you're just in that that like I don't love myself like like I just want someone to love me like it, when you learn how to do it yourself it's almost like you unintentionally teach other people how to treat you like that too like does that make sense like when you meet somebody the way that they behave to themselves is whether you realize it or not the way that you start to behave towards them. So if you love yourself, you're going to have a fucking, you, you're more likely to have a real stellar relationship. And it's just, it, 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 I, it really is the key to the majority of the problems that I feel people have that are in relationships, that go through divorce, that are fighting all the time. Like some, one of the two of you isn't like really loving yourself. You're not really treating yourself to things. You're not respecting yourself enough. You're not, you're not taking yourself out on like little a, a, adventure. You know, like how many of you... I'm not saying this doesn't happen at all, but there's definitely, most of you don't go to the movies with yourself. Like just by yourself. Most of you don't have little outings with yourself. And if you do, you probably just consider it like, you know, you're like doing chores or whatever, or you're doing food shopping. But like the vast majority of you, like you're not gonna go to the movies by yourself. You're not gonna go treat yourself to a fucking dinner by yourself like a sit down in a restaurant kind of thing, get a booth and just hang out with you. You know what I mean? Like most of you can't stand hanging out with yourselves and you're teaching other people to not, ha not, not stand hanging out with you too. So you have to learn how to love yourself. And the easiest way to do that, I'm not even fucking kidding when I say this, is to just make a list of all the things you're interested in and literally look at it every day for five seconds before you go to bed and before and, and right after you wake up in the morning. Just literally, you want to remind yourself that you are interesting and that you have things that you look forward to in life and you don't want to get that loop playing again of like, I'm bored, no one loves me, like blah blah fucking blah, who gives a shit? Like everybody has their own problems and I just taught you how to fix yours. Literally, it's so easy that if you can't do it, you deserve to stay in pain. And I, I mean that as like a coach, I mean that as a as a, a to be dad, I mean that like I'm not pregnant or anything, but like just as a as a fucking as, as a as a as a friend, 
as any kind of figurehead, if, if, if you can't get your shit together, you can't expect anybody else to do it for you. And nobody's gonna do it for you. But like, I oh know that's what I was saying. If, if you can't put the time in to fix yourself, you don't fucking deserve to be fixed. And that's just real talk. Anyway, all that being said, go make your list, jackass, and you're welcome. You are breathtaking. I'll see you in Neo, six months when you you're getting laid like fucking crazy and you're happy as shit. Pad of your advice. Ha ha. Sign up with the 18 months. Sign up. Thank you for 18 months, man. Appreciate it. What's up, Sign up? How you doing, man? Have you reminded me that I have dedicated notepad to your advice? Do you actually? I made a new note card like a few weeks ago. No, maybe was it wasn't a few weeks ago. Maybe it was about a month ago. But I made a little note card now that I, I have on my like, like right next to my bed. So I, I literally, and it stands out like crazy. It's like one of those like neon note cards that just doesn't blend in at all to the, the surface of the little uh, nightstand next to my bed. And uh, I, I literally see it every day. And one of the first things on it is uh, is yoga and water. And I literally have just coinc... It's not coincidental, but like, I've been drinking a lot more water and I've definitely been doing a lot more yoga. Like, before I made that notepad, I probably did yoga once every like fucking four months. And now I've been doing it like a few times a week. And I actually feel better. Like, I honestly have been feeling a lot better. I don't know if any of you have been following me for a while, but like, maybe you can and maybe you can't tell. I've been a hell of a lot less ragey lately, so the yoga's been pretty good for like, cleaning my mind out. But it works. That, that just making a fucking notepad or whatever, like, like a, having a little index card with like, shit on it. Like, like just a list of things you're interested in to remind you that like, you don't suck as a person and there is, there is usefulness inside of you. Like, you're, because you're worth it.